Today is the DJH Mitten Clark Summer Summit. We've got over 130 members of the team. It's just great to get to know your colleagues better and just have some fun, build, build those relationships. We're going to be hearing from an Olympic gold medalist. After them, we're going to have some team games. And no doubt everybody's competitive side is going to come out as well. It's been amazing seeing new faces, um, new team members. Since the merge in March, we haven't quite met up yet because of Covid, so it's a great way of getting to know people. It's all about team building and learning about teamwork and coming together. I think it's just important that we all come together, have fun, get to know each other, people that we don't necessarily mix with in the office. It's a nice opportunity to, to come together all of us. So, yeah. We want everybody to enjoy coming to work. You spend an awful lot of your life at work, so it's important that when you do come in, you want to be there. You want everybody to feel that they can develop both personally and professionally, but it's about you as the individual. We will be joined today by Ben Hunt Davis, Olympic gold medal winning rower. If you want to win the Olympics, you've just got to do things differently. Everything's got to be done very slightly differently. We were constantly challenging going, what I'm about to do, is it really going to help me achieve what I want? And if it's not, find something different to do. And for us, generating a culture within the team of 60 of us, where we're all just constantly trying to improve and learn, rather than just work hard, was a critical part of our, of our team development. You know, what is it you really want to achieve and how good will it feel when you achieve it? Absolutely amazing. The inspirational speaker was phenomenal. We've had loads of fun with the games, uh, very competitive team, which is amazing. Yeah, the games have been really, really fun, especially shooting the elastic bands at each other. That was a good laugh. Such good fun, as you can tell, I'm sweating. <laughs> I've been there, shouting, cheering, screaming lots. I want, I, I literally, beginning today, I was like, yeah, we're going to win. And then it just literally went down. Uh, we've only won three and lost three, so we're kind of in the middle at the moment. The day's not over. Come on, y'all raisers. That's my team. So in third place, kicking the assets. <laughs> Second place, zero to hero. <laughs> so our winners in the black. There you go. Our goal. Goal. Yay! You'll remember probably about two weeks ago, I sent a poll out to everybody. So everybody in this room had that opportunity to take, to celebrate, to recognize one of their colleagues who are doing truly great things in the business. For this individual, nothing is ever too much trouble. She comes into work with a smile, supports the whole team, and fully embraces every challenge. Becky Wright is our teamwork champion. Our ambition winner works really hard and always aims high with a fantastic positive outlook on life. Lily O'Brien. Honesty. Right. Offers honest advice and constructive criticism to ensure work is completed to a high standard. Our winner is Alison Doherty. Passion. Supports the team, embraces challenges and gives his all in his role. And our winner is Mr. Cooper. Andy Cooper. Where's Andy? Andy Cooper. There you go. <laughs> Somebody can text him and let him know he's won. Community. Community was one where, I'll be honest with you, we were torn. There was two, two front runners. Running a half marathon to raise money for his friend's charity and sharing the free heart scans with the business was inspirational. So our first community winner is Mr. Mason, so very well done. Your co-winner puts lots of time and effort and care into planning community projects she always goes the extra mile to ensure we do as much as possible for each cause we support. So our co-winner is Rachel Crawshaw, wherever Rachel is. The big takeaway we want everybody from today is what's the vision 
for the group moving forward. What's the vision for DJ Schmidt and Clark so everybody knows where we're going, how we're going to get there and what part they can play. We've got an appetite to keep growing, but firstly we've got to make sure that we look after our people, keep working on the culture and keep striving towards being that great place to work.